Hey y'all, I'm here today with another plan with me from May 22nd to the 28th and I will be using a printable kit for this week and it is the Cricut Paper Co. Palm Springs printable kit and it was in her Facebook group a few weeks ago. I actually went back through to see if I could find it again and I couldn't find it. I don't know if I just ran over it or if it wasn't there anymore. But because I do have everything, of course I have everything printed out, because I have everything already cut out, which I did the day before filming this video, it would be very difficult to show you all of the pieces. So I am just going to go ahead and get started with the bottom wash sheet. Now I was able to, what am I trying to say? use a paper cutter this time instead of just hand cutting everything but a couple of these stickers I did have to hand trim so if anything isn't perfectly lined up or not necessarily lined up but if anything is crooked or anything like that that is why and I'm kind of bringing the washi down a little bit not and not lining it up right up against the bottom line just in case if any piece is crooked it won't be as noticeable so I have that down and now I am going to flip y'all on the side and do the sidebar and I did try as best as I can to color block um but a couple places aren't necessarily going to be colored block but that is okay and other than the exception of a couple items I am going to be using mostly everything in the kit itself or what came in the printable pages for the kit like you will see in a couple of minutes once I get my sidebar complete I am going to be using glitter headers but that is because I figured it would be too tedious to cut out all the little to do today and odds and ends headers and I also think glitter headers would look really great with the um With the patterns in this kit. I'm trying to think if I want to leave a little space between the habit tracker and the header or no, I'm just gonna line it up because it looks like even though they do match just looks like I put it down wrong if I do it that way and it is I think it's the habit tracker that's crooked okay I think that is better because the top of the habit tracker because I had to trim it it got cut crooked at the top because that was one that I had to hand trim uh, the sticker doesn't want to go down straight sticker okay, 
I really apologize that this is taking me forever to put it down, but you know what, I'm just going to leave it. And then normally I would use a weekly tracker for my exercise, but because there are actually seven hearts on here, I am going to use just the regular checklist. And then I'm going to take a this week header, which I only cut out the headers that I knew I was going to need, like the exercise this week to clean and to buy. So I did cut those out, but not the headers that I didn't need. And because there were only enough checklist in the kit to have one on the sidebar and then or the ombre checklist. There were the single heart checklist too, but I didn't cut those out because they're only enough to have one in the sidebar and then one for each day of the week. I am going to take the orange checklist from the Paperly Boutique. It is a different shade of orange, but it still works out. And then, I'm not sure what I want to put down here, so I'm going to hold off on doing that. I might take some of my regular washi and put some, and put some down there, but I don't know just yet. But what I am going to do is just take all of the ombre heart checklist and put them down I didn't finish that <laughs> sentence for some reason um <clears throat> excuse me but as you can see like this one has a little bit of not white space but because the bottom of this sticker got cut crooked. You can see the little bit of white space, but this one doesn't. That is probably a sticker that I had to hand trim and it got a little too much trimmed off than what should have been trimmed. But that is okay. I am going to try and put these down as best as I can and I can always use the bring the glitter header up higher to cover up that little bit of space right there. And apart from the little mishap on the sidebar, this is actually going a lot quicker than thought it would be. Although the painful thing is when you use printables is you have to peel off the backing which that can sometimes take a little while to do if you can't get the, if you can't find where it peels. I do know on some matte papers, um, it'll have a couple of slips in the, Ooh. I apologize for the farting air conditioner if you can hear it, but some of the matte paper has slips in the back, so you can just peel the, find where the slit is and peel it off that way but the glossy paper that I have it doesn't do that so it does take a bit of time to figure out where the where to peel it off okay 
Okay, so now that I have my planner turned back around, I am going to, I think I'm going to go ahead and at least put the top row of glitter headers down. And I have these three sheets of glitter headers from the Paperly Boutique. I'm going to use the orange one probably in the middle because it is the darker of the three colors. And then I'm going to use the lighter pink just to kind of bring in some of the light pink on the watermelon here. And then a couple of the other boxes have some of the light pink as well and the light blue. So I said the orange was going to go in the middle, so I'm going to put that to the side, and then I think I think I want to do pink up top just because I I think there's going to be a lot more pink down at the towards at the bottom. And again, I apologize if you could just hear the running water. Or I think it was actually the shower running. It's probably my mom trying to clean the bathroom. And I was going to use a, a darker pink but I figured the lighter pink glitter header would be nice just to kind of bring in a bit more of the lighter pink that is in the full boxes. And I really like how there is the orange in the kit as well because then I can use up the um, the last of, not the very last orange glitter header, but the last set of orange glitter headers on that page. So now I think, I think I want to do, go ahead and put my full boxes and the middle in. Whew, excuse me, just because... If I put any of them down crooked or if they're cut crooked, the glitter header can help cover that up. And this one I'm going to kind of bring up a little more just because I'm going to have to bring the glitter header higher to cover up that little bit of white space down at the bottom. And like I mentioned earlier, I am going to try and or not try, I already have everything <laughs> laid out where it is supposed to go, but I did try to color block as best as I could. As you can tell, Monday the background color doesn't match, but all but the cactuses in the pattern of the box do match the color of the ombre checklist for Monday, so that is okay. And then Tuesday and Wednesday, those... Ooh, no, don't go down crooked. Those obviously match. I think the only one that really doesn't match is Sunday's full box, but that is completely okay. I'm not too, too concerned that that's the one, bo one box that doesn't match. couple of these stickers do still kind of have the, a little bit of white trim around them, but that is completely okay as long as it isn't, as long as it wasn't enough where I had to trim it off. Like the little bit down here, that could probably be covered up by a glitter header, so I'm not too concerned with little bits of of white that are still
still on the page. I'm actually wondering, do I want to... Actually, let me see if I can peel this watermelon up. Yeah, okay, that one came up. I'm going to move this watermelon over here just because it won't have both of the watermelons on the same page. Which I really didn't even think about that until just now. But, ooh. Oh, that's not good. No, no. And I do have to be careful because like this box a little too much got trimmed off of the side. So there is going to be a bit of white space up there on the length of the box, but that is okay. And I really think my mom is cleaning her shower now because I can hear a lot more noise. <laughs> little corner okay good and now I am going to go in with the orange glitter headers and while I am filming this I'm actually filming this a day earlier than what I usually film because I have an event to go to on Saturday that the time of it is usually whenever I film on Saturday so I am filming a day early just to give me enough time so now I used up all of the orange glitter headers and this sheet is completely empty now which is kind of sad that I used up all of them up but then good because then that is one less sheet that I have to keep track of although also the day that I am filming this is the start of the planner boss collective sale although whenever this video goes up the sale will already be over but I did purchase a few more glitter headers not too much, but either colors that I was getting getting low on or ones that I didn't have or colors that I really, really liked. But that is all of the orange glitter headers down for the middle row. And then I think I'm actually going to hold off on the, um, I'm putting the blue, gl the blue glitter headers down and go ahead and put the little to clean and to buy checklist down first just so I can just so I can see how much room I am going to have because I'd hate to put the glitter header down and then have to pick it back up and move it. I really, really don't want to have to do that if possible. So I have my to clean list and then I am going to take the other three heart checklist and I did color block these checklists. I couldn't color block the headers but that is okay. And if I can put the header down the correct way and not upside down. Actually 
need to readjust this checklist. Okay, that is better. Okay, so now that I have those down, I think I think I'm going to go in with the half boxes that I'm going to use to mark my meals. Instead of using labels, I'm just going to use half boxes because there are a ton of them that came with the printable kit. Okay, so all of the half boxes I am I did also, <clears throat> excuse me, I also color blocked those. Um, I'm trying to think. Actually, I think I am going to have to go ahead and put the blue glitter, blue glitter headers in now. Just so I, <coughs> excuse me, just so I know where to place the half box down. I'm gonna need to fix Monday's glitter header real quickly. Now for Wednesday, I am actually going to put the glitter header right above the clean header, just to kind of break it up a little bit <coughs> excuse me but that way it's not like the three heart checklist a header a half box and then the glitter header i'm gonna kind of use the glitter header to break up the space and then for the other four days come on There we go. And then I'm going to do the same thing on Friday that I did on Wednesday and put the glitter header in the middle or right above the to buy header. Excuse me, now I can go ahead and put all of the half boxes down. So this is one that got a little extra trimmed off. Okay, there we go, and then Excuse me again. <clears throat> I'm trying as best as I can to put these down straight. Excuse me, I remember when I was cutting the half boxes that they kind of got a little crooked because I think I had it crooked in the paper cutter. So I am putting these down very carefully and also very crookedly. And I do really like how I put the glitter header above the it to clean and to buy. <coughs> oh, 
oh my goodness, I apologize again, of both the To Clean and To Buy headers, just because I think it does look better that way instead of putting it above the half box and if I had put it above the half box instead of the header it would have gone up into the full box which might have looked a little weird probably not too bad but I like it this way better Excuse me again, so now I have all of that put down and now I am going to look at the TV shows. I already figured out the TV shows, just but just to double check. I have two on Monday, two on Tuesday, and then one on Thursday. So for Monday, I have these little labels here. So I am going to put one down for Young and Hungry. Ooh, no. One for Young and Hungry, and then the other one for Dancing with the Stars. And then Tuesdays is Pretty Little Liars, and Monday is actually part one of the finale for Dancing with the Stars, and then part two of the finale is on Tuesday, but I don't think I'm going to mark it because... I only cut out enough of the labels to to mark down the <clears throat> excuse me again to mark down the shows that were on the app whenever I was looking at it yesterday. But I do know that that is going to be coming on on Tuesday, and then the. Other one is for Thursday, and that is The Amazing Race. Okay, clearly these labels got <laughs> cut off a bit too much because they are not going exactly straight across, but that was my fault. <laughs> Excuse me again. Oh my goodness. And then the other couple things I need to add in is I do have these couple of half boxes that have the little flags across them that I am going to put on Monday and Thursday to mark my uploads. Uploads. Um, and I'm just going to put them kind of in the middle. of the full box and I like how there's still like a row of cactuses at the top and bottom so I don't feel too bad about covering up that full box and then again the same thing over on Thursday kind of putting it in the middle and you can still see the flowers on the top and the bottom and then Saturday is my filming day. And I do have one more pink half box. So I think I am just going to take this and put it right underneath there. And then let me see. If I, <clears throat> I know I have a lot of camera icons. Let's see, I think I want to use this 
orange one here and I'm going to put it right there just so I know that this is to mark filming the plan with me and that is for my dinner. And then I did have a weekend banner. A weekend banner did come with this kit but I completely like butchered the top of it where it didn't even look like a weekend banner anymore. So I don't have that to put down but I'm not really concerned that I don't have it to put down but I did look at my washi and I do have this pink washi it isn't tropical but it is kind of kind of have or it is kind of it does kind of have the dark pink like in the washi and the half boxes and ombre checklist that I am just going to use it to fill up the space of the little space down here just so the lines aren't all showing and I thought about putting in a um <clears throat> oh my goodness excuse me again I thought about putting a half box in but I wouldn't know what I would really need a half box four down there so I figured washi would be a better option and of course you want to cut crooked let's see can I peel you up with no problems okay whoo now I'm just gonna need to get my gigantic exacto knife and trim off this little that little teeny tiny bit and then I'm going to do one more layer And let's hope that I don't have to trim off, or not trim off, I didn't have to trim. I have to use the exacto knife again, and of course I do, of course. I am going to need my scissors to trim off the overhang at the bottom of that is okay I just I hate having to use my gigantic exacto knife but I do have it in case I need to use it for stuff like that so I can move the ruler out of the way and then I'll just take my scissors and trim off the excess and put that off to the side and then I think that is everything I'm not going to worry about trying to fill in the little bits of white spaces I think it is perfectly fine not having them covered up and then the flags I am not going to cover up either because even though it is a light color, I think because of the orange in the kit, it kind of blends it in. So that is pretty much it for this week's plan with me. And if I, ha if I do happen to have anything else come up, I can always add it in into the checklist. And I do have... A couple of extra half boxes that I could use as well. I do kind of hate that the habit tracker and exercise header keeps popping up because of how much I had to peel it up but hopefully once I close my planner it will the weight of it will keep that down but I do really really like how this turned out especially since I color blocked most everything and I also like how I brought in the glitter headers I think that was a nice nicely added touch 
but that is it for this week's plan with me. If you want to see more videos like this and you haven't already subscribed, you can hit the subscribe button down below. And if you liked the video, you can hit the like button as well. And I will see y'all next time. Bye!